Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. Today we have Mary Amato with us and she's going to tell us about her sci-fi series, Star Striker. We're going to be talking about the first book, Game On. So welcome to Storymakers, Mary. Thank you, Rocco. Tell us about the Star Striker series. The series is about a boy named Albert. He's 13 and he's abducted by aliens. And at first he's terrified, of course, but then he learns that he's being recruited to play in an interplanetary sports tournament. And the series will follow Albert throughout these incredibly exciting games. So what's the sport in this book? The overall sport is called Joka, and it is a, an invented game that I made up very similar to soccer and soccer players will recognize it. But each game takes place on a different planet. And so as the geographic conditions of the planets change, so does the game. You created this sport that's similar to soccer. Did you know a lot about soccer? Uh, I have never been an athlete. However, I have two sons and they both grew up playing soccer. And so I went to many, many games and learned to really love it. So can you tell us how he trains for this sport? The training is really tough and he has to travel to and from this faraway planet. He has to learn how to deal with these eruptions that occur during the middle of the game. And he has to also face his own weaknesses. It's not just physical, but it's also psychological. And uh, I think about sports a lot like music. I'm also a musician. And when I am learning how to play my instrument, I have to work really hard to uh, train not only physically to remember what it is that I'm playing, but I also have to train my mind. I have to be really um, in a positive spirit in order to learn something. And Albert's the same way. Talking about practice, do you have to practice writing books? That is such a great question. A lot of people think that if you're a writer, you just sit down and you write and the book comes out. And that is not true. It takes a lot of discipline and a lot of practice to write just the way it does to be a musician or to be a great athlete. And so I make sure that I sit down every day that I have a positive attitude and that I practice my writing. What type of research did you have to do for the book? I had to do a lot of research. I am not a scientist, so I don't know that much about space. Uh, I also am not an athlete, and so I had to do research about sports, but I also had to do research about technology. And two things really stick out in my mind. One is drones. There are a lot of drones in the Star Striker series. There are surveillance drones, there are medical drones. And so I did research online to find out how small they can be, how big they can be. And I love to collect visual images as I'm researching so that I can picture those in my mind. The other thing is that I had to figure out what kind of spacecraft does Albert travel in. And so I looked online for a lot of different types of real and also imagined spacecraft. It is super fun to do that kind of research. There's also a dog character in the book that is really important and will be important for the whole series. I don't have a dog. <laughs> That meant that I needed to go online and really research dogs. What can they smell? How do they behave? I also talked with dog owners and observed dogs to make sure that I could really give my readers a dog character that seemed true. You mentioned earlier that you were a musician and I see a guitar they're on the wall. Music plays a part in almost every book that I write. I love music. In this book, the all of the characters have this song that helps to motivate them. Of course, it's not in English because this is another planet. 
someday I'll think about writing that song. In the meantime, I have my instruments here. I have a guitar, which you noticed. You might also see a banjo lele. And I have a ukulele always at my side. I mix up my day. You can't sit and write all day. And so in between times when I need to stretch and need a break, I'll grab one of my instruments and I'll just play and sing. And that will both give me something new, some new energy that I can then bring back to my desk. Uh, or it'll give me an idea for something new, like a brand new song that I might want to write. I noticed on the cover there is a soccer ball, and in the book it is a smart soccer ball. Technology plays a role, as we mentioned, and it would be interesting to find out what our viewers would want for the sport they play. For example, for tennis, I think I would like a racket that is attracted to the ball. That is a great idea, Rocco. I got to design things for the book, and one of the things for the next book in the series is this pair of shoes that will have blades that pop out of the bottom. The next book takes place on an icy planet, and so they're actually playing Joka on ice, which is sort of like a combination of soccer and hockey. And so I had to invent these smart shoes that could do both things. It was really fun. So share your ideas with us in the comments section. Before we leave, Mary, do you have a song for us? Oh, thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm always ready to sing a song. Let's see, I think I'll do one from my Lucy McGee series. Lucy is a songwriter and she writes silly songs and serious songs. The one I'll sing for you is called Two Brains. Here's how it goes. I've got two brains in my mixed up head. They don't get along, they fight instead. One says yes and the other says no. One says fast, the other says slow. One hates my guts, the other thinks I'm fine. I wanna trade them in for a brand new mind. That was terrific. Mary, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks so much for having me, Rocco. I hope everyone has a great time reading. So remember, until next time, read a book in any format.